Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out the duplication trick where you duplicate um, items in Animal Crossing. So I'm mainly doing this out of curiosity. I wouldn't recommend doing it very often because kind of like cheating, but I want to see if it actually works or not. Okay, so first we, the things you're gonna need for this would be the um, Nintendo Switch online account. And if you don't have one, you can probably get like a free trial. Um, and there's other ways to duplicate too, but this is the version we're trying out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to head over to uh, my friend's island, Kit. And um, she's also going to confirm that the bells, um, we're gonna be duplicating a bell, a bag of bells. And so she's also going to confirm that the bag of bells is still there before we actually reach the island again. So for those of you who don't know how this trick works, basically you head over to your friend's island and drop whatever item you want to duplicate on the ground. Then once you've done that, there's a two minute period and you can do whatever you want in that period. Then in, during that two minute period, the loading button after the two minute period is going to start loading and it's around two minutes it varies from time to time um that's what we've heard at least um so once the loading button comes you're gonna wait for it to go like once or twice and then hit the um power button and by hitting the power button it's going to not actually complete the save of the game which causes the bells of bags to remain on the island and in your pockets so in other words because it doesn't do a complete save, you end up having the item in both places. Okay, so we are heading to Blue Food, which is what my friend's island is called. It is actually a Percy Jackson reference because um, she didn't know what to name it. So if you guys uh, watch per like r have read Percy Jackson, then you would know that. Okay, so... Um, we're heading over to the island, and again, we have a two-minute period, around two minutes, so we do want to work fast in dropping the items. Now, in this particular instance, I was broke, so while I was filming this, I was actually broke, um, so I actually, this was on Easter Day, so I'm just, like, selling off the, um, I just sell, sold off the eggs because I didn't want to participate in the event too much, um, and then I dropped, a. Uh, a bag of 8,000 bells. So it's a good amount of money, but it's not like it's so much that I'm going to become really, really, really rich. Okay, so here's me just um, playing around on the island here. I actually um, didn't, hadn't, haven't played the game after, too, for too long after my, after I was doing a, like a little bit of filming the other day, which I actually didn't end up posting, but I was, I had dressed up like the Scarlet Witch, and now I have a mysterious dress, so in this particular video, I look a lot like the Scarlet Witch. Okay, so now I'm just exploring the island a little bit, but you can do whatever you want because I only had one item to drop, but if you have like 20 items to drop, you want to drop them fast before that loading button comes on. Okay, so at this point, I've made like a general loop around the island. And so I'm just running around like mad, honestly. And now here the loading button comes and you can see it loaded around two to three times or even four times before I pressed that home button. And so I was kind of worried that I had pressed it too late because I read in a video that you actually have to load it, um, press the off button at the third loop. But I pressed it at around the fourth or fifth loop and it still worked. Um, so all you have to do is you have to really keep an eye out for that. And as soon as that third or fourth loops comes around, just press that home button. And this is the home button of your switch. Um, just the power off button, actually not the home button, but the power off button. And then you're going to come back into the game and it'll say what, what it just did, which you can see it said, um, connection lost. And so I'm now I'm back on my own Island. And as you can see, the bells are still in my pocket which means that the hack actually worked, which is amazing. But again, we don't know if the hack actually, if the bells are actually still on my friend's island. Okay, guys, so she just confirmed that the bells are actually on her island. So that is just really exciting because it means that the hack has worked. But obviously, we're on our island right now. So first, we have to make our way to her island before we can get the bells. 
So yes, it is a hassle because first you have to go to the island, drop the bells, wait for two minutes, press the power off button, come back, and then because it's disconnected you, you have to head back to your friend's island. Okay, so let's go head back to her island. Okay, we're back onto her island, and as you can see, it's bunny day, so there's the bunny in the background. Uh, yes, and as you can see, the bells are still there on the ground, which is really exciting. And all we have to do is now pick up the bells and stash them in our inventory, and we should have like around 16,000, 17,000 bells, because when we started the video, we had around 8,000 to 9,000, um, including the bags of bells in our pockets. Okay, so now we're back, and look at Stinky. Stinky is my favorite villager. I mean, I don't have Stinky, but she has Stinky, and it's just such a cute villager. So we can see the bell bags is right here, and it's 8,000 bells, so we've made 16,590 bells. And that's all for the video, guys. We have doubled our money, and obviously this works a lot better if you have seasonal items that you want to duplicate, rare items, or if you have... Um, a lot of money or a lot of nook miles so there we are guys thank you for watching this video if you like this and want more content like this subscribe or hit that like button and the duplication trick is not a scam it actually works so see you next time bye